second in the middle of the square in the middle of the pack Keenan gets it out here's Moore still Moore keeps it in nicely to Kink Kink staging for free gets it to Barham Barham straightens up and shoots for goal and pops it through Graceful. Ireland robs the ball good handball to Manassa Manassa's kicked the centre wing Carmen should mark Barham Barham at half forward Kink unmarked Sheedy closing. And Cloak emerges. His kick smothered. Kink can't handle it. Gets a hand pass to Manasseh. Manasseh must hand pass. No, he gets a pass. And boots uh, up to the centre half forward. Oh, the fist of Burke. Back to Shaw. Shaw has Barham free on this side of the ground and sees him. Barham cuts inboard. And away he goes. He'll have a shot for goal. And bang it through. The goal of the difference. It's half forward. Barker from the back. Ireland in front. Down to Saru. And the free kick paid to uh, Billy Pickett for Ireland. Andrew Ireland just behind the centre to half forward. Good pass to Kink. Barham over the top to Kink. This should be a score to Collingwood. Oh, beauty. Great goal. What a sensational opening. By Stephens until they were going into attack. But unfortunately, it's towards Magro. He misses the mark on the first occasion. Walks around, runs straight across the face of goal. Has time to drive the ball wide, and it's all Collingwood. As we see Barham wait for it. Barham goes through. He'll go for a little short pass. Now he swings back the other way and decides to go for the long kick. It's a long kick down towards half forward. Carmen up high in front. It's, and St Kilda again. Back into attack as Stevens long kick towards centre half forward. Saru knocks the ball on. It's taken by Andrew Ireland. Ireland goes a little short pass and finds Barham out in the centre wing. Barham has time to come around, steady up with one bounce, and now drives the ball in towards centre half forward. Coming across and oh, a great mark taken by Sandy Lands. Sandy Lands puts the ball and it's all Collingwood as we see Shaw. Shaw should come around, straighten up, drive the ball down and it's through the centre for Collingwood's first goal for quite some time. Well, that was a nice passage of play. It was noticeable, then very noticeable, that the St Gilda players were not playing defensive football whatsoever. They were trying to attack all the time. That was the reason that we saw Barham all by himself on the centre wing. We see the, the pass completely unopposed. Got it downfield. Sandlins did the rest. Got it out to shore. And you've seen the result of that one. So for now, do Bruce are looking for the lead. There it is. Stone leading out in front of Richardson. as a fresh fan. You know, plenty of going in there. And he comes right on now. He's kicked smothered, though, by Max Richardson. Great defensive play. Stone's inexperienced. Telling against him on that occasion. Awkward bounce for Sandy Lance. He's under the head. Held for too long. Poor play on, though, as umpire sees Barron come out with the ball. It was going to be penalised. Put the ball down. Looking for George Young. Worthington and coming across. Couldn't take the mark. Coming down as Perovic. Perovic tries to run around. Couldn't get the kick. It's called play on because it's taken by Pickin. Pickin goes for the short pass. Finds Barham again left alone. Barham by running through the centre. Has one bounce. Now a long kick by Barham. Over. Kick against Hawthorne to Ireland. Barham's been quiet. Down to Richardson who switched direction the last moment and fumbled it and lost it. Having a bad day today, Richardson. Down to centre half forward to Derek Shaw. A good pick up there by Collingwood and Shaw raced in for his fourth goal. His third for the quarter. Morris into the centre to kick. Kick for kick at the moment. There's Collingwood coming to attack once more. Shaw couldn't mark it. Good play, Barra. A chance to score. Their first. Goal. Handball to uh, Bird running back and across to Barham. 40 metres out having to hook that one and he did hook it too far. South Melbourne in command at the moment. No, it's Collingwood back in a chance of Rayshaw and it's a goal. Kick to centre wing. Ruckman there. Comes off hands to Kink. Sweeping handball to Barham. Barham inboard. Carmen is there with front to Merrigan. Merrigan leads to the lines but Barham's got a chance of oh, tremendous mark my word he threw himself at that comes out chance for Wearmouth brilliantly taken away by Ashman kick number 14 and intercepted by Barham shot for goal and puts it through Harms he'll have to hurry over Mackay's head unluckily for him straight to Barham Barham, a long one downfield where Jones has got the chance, covers it nicely. 
Mark McClure and Billy Pick and Pick and Mark number seven. He's killing him out to Barham. Barham then shoots them down to the goal square. Peter Moore from behind. Ball was taken away from him by Wearmouth, and he played it long enough. Well, that'll be interesting to watch. There's Worthington down. But Moore juggled and juggled and juggled. And to whether he truly had possession is under the umpire's decision. He gave it. And Moore's on a 45-degree angle, about 15 metres out, shoots for goal and puts it. And that's goal number three to Peter Moore. Cleverly should mark. Can't mark in front, not paid. Perry's there. Comes out to Magro and Perry who are fighting, but Magro will clear with a long hand pass to Manassa. He'll give it to Wearmouth. No, he's caught with the ball. Dropping the ball. The, oh, that's a ridiculous decision. Great tackle. And Manassa's got the free kick. Bounced the ball when he was grabbed. That is an atrocious decision by umpire Nash. Downfield it goes. Worthing to the leaper. Brown is with him. Here comes Barham. Downfield it goes. David Mackay in front position. Well battled there, Stewart. Kink a great team player to Bond. Bond there looks for Peter Moore. Jezelenko on Ireland. Jezelenko looks like winning. Here comes Tower Pickett. Magro, great football out to Barham. The runner is off. Peter Moore's the target again. Loses possession. He runs into Berg and he gets a half distance kick. Worthington, he's in trouble. Gets the handball away. There's Barham off the ground. Schmitz pounces on the ball. Been tackled by Kink. Yes, he's tackled by Kink. Whoa. The ball high in the air up towards the centre wing area. Spectacular leap by Billy Pickin. Could have been in the back to Dunstan. He looked for the free kick. Welch uh, lost possession of the ball. A hand pass comes out towards Barham. Barham now will have a shot for a goal from the half forward flank. Keep Short passes on into the forward pocket, taken by Dunstan, went to play on, slip. He was off for sure. And he comes now, allowing for the breeze. Does it beautifully too, that's four points kicked by Ricky Barham. It comes here now to Barham, oh, he balks beautifully. Up it goes towards the full forward zone. Richmond player spoiling as a go for Twiggy, not a snap for go, what's he done with it? He's put it through, Bobby style running with the ball, now it's a short pass. That's what's up. Now is the chance to get it up the more. He's gone for a hand pass. Over it comes to Whit uh, Whitcroft back to bat. So he's fumbled. He's going to shot the goal. What's the result? Has a go now for more. Kicked off the ground by Barham. It's a goal. Good long clearing kick up towards uh, halfback. Looking for Pickin. He got two hands to it again but couldn't mark it. Here's Barham in front of Tempery. If he can gather the ball in. He's fighting hard for it. The Richmond halfback flanker though. At, uh, oh! Ball couldn't get it clear. Here's a chance for calling it now. Yeah, some of the great goals of the day. We had the NASA. Done. Russo's up there. Thompson at the back. In there's Moncrief. Punched away by Thompson. Goes in Morris. Oh, beautiful play by Morris. Over the bar. Beautiful tap over the shoulder. And a pass. And a mark. Chance for the Magpies. It's taken by Barham. Now he's coming. Some of the runs of the day. Ricky Barham. Look at him go this far. Will he get caught? Times. There's a go now for Barham. Oh, he's got his hands to it. Now he's Barham again. Now he's going to have a bit of a run around the boundary line. Look at him go. He's going to run one up towards the goals. He's gone for a shot for the goal. At the picket, Armstrong again. Morris is there, throws himself on top of the ball, scoops it out towards Barham. Here's trouble, out towards Kink. He can kick as well, net foot as he can, right. Down towards Carmen. Moore is there, off the hands of the pack. Manassa. Goal picked up by Towns now for Carlton. Into attack immediately, dropped by McCormick, but picked up by Byrne. Burns pass to the wing to Barham. He seems to be falling on one leg a little bit. But we him go. But put the long handball is not good. Here comes Barham flashing into play. Look at him go with Kick telling him to go, man, go. Kicks it back in towards the half forward line to be picked up by Morris. A left foot kick to Moore and Carmen. Towns has been quite an effective player. Out to pick it, in trouble, dropped the ball the call, picked up by Barham, no free kick, he thought there might have been, in towards centre. To Keogh, and Trevor Keogh now goes for a pass up towards Mark McClure, who takes the mark, he hasn't had too many touches today, and that's uh, well done Billy Pickett, who's been doing that quite a lot to Whitcock, gets pushed in the back, and what's the decision by the umpire? Free kick to Whitcock, Greg, Greg Whitcock the first time, mate. Greg Whitcock from, uh, well he's almost at the centre now, to put Collingwood up over the centre line, there's the kick. Ah, fabulous still! Beat them all! And I see a Carlton player limping that looks like Coggins. Could be coming off the ground, trying to attend him to him at the moment. As Carmen prepares to take his kick. 
Carmen now. That's a better kick from Carmen. That was a good 55 metres. Tomo back to Shaw. Shaw has a snapshot for goal. This one's not as good as the last, though. Barham from behind. He's marked it! In front of Tony Pickett, who has played a great game for Carlton today. Collins is back on his feet. Meantime, on the other side of the ground. Barham scored a goal from uh, a position here on the run earlier in the match. You watch Pickett take his eyes off the ball here as uh, Barham goes for the mark. Well, let's see if we can see. Yes, he did too. Took it that last mark, that gave Barham. Collingwood getting a bit of a run on now. It's something that they've lacked throughout the match, particularly in this second term, because it was all North Melbourne for uh, a good 20 minutes in this second term. Whether that's good or bad remains to be seen. Worthington, now on to Morris. Morris, 60 metres out from goal. He lets go with one of those prodigious punts of his, and it might be through! There's no whistle. Thompson pleading for it. Picked up by Dawson, who's caught by Barham. Great tackle by Ricky Barham, who needs something to get back into this game, because so far he's been thrashed by Schimmelbush. Fourth kick to Barham. Ten-minute mark, second quarter. Towards centre half forward, over the head of Thompson and Nolan in ruck. Thompson over the back, but it was Blight who was sharking, but it, that's whom it was meant for. Nicely towards uh, Barham, then towards Moore, done. Go carried carry it a little bit too far. Malcolm Blight is having a touch of the spills today. Good handball for sure across to Barham, and the speedster races away from opponent John Byrne. Down towards the forward pocket now.